Hello my dear friends, I am Santosh. I welcome you all to online studies. Friends, in this video we will see the inequality concept from a reasoning. This concept is most important in most of the bank exams and SSC exams, CGL exams and LIC exams. Friends, in banking exams you will get around 5 questions based on inequalities. If you understand the techniques that we are going to discuss today, then definitely you will get 5 marks. Okay, so let's begin with the session. Friends, before taking the concept of inequalities, let's understand the basics of inequalities. Okay, inequalities, you will come across this symbol, this symbol and this symbol. Okay, these three symbols are most important in, in this session. Okay, this symbol represents open gate from this direction and closed gate from this direction. That is, open gate from this direction and closed gate from this direction. Okay, and let's take this symbol. Okay, so the mouth of the gate is open at this direction, so it is called open gate. Okay, and the mouth of the gate is closed at this direction, so from this direction it is called as closed gate. Okay, now let's take last important symbol that is equal to. Okay, equal to is open from both ends, that is, from this end also it is open gate. And from this end also it is called open gate. Okay. Based on these three symbols, we will apply the technique. Okay. So it is important. Friends, now let's note some important points about inequality concept. Okay. Assume in conclusion you will be given with greater than or equal to symbol. And in statement you will be given with only greater than or equal to symbol, greater symbol and equal to symbol. In this case, we can travel in this symbol. Yes, it is possible. But in this symbol, it is not possible because equal to sign is missing. You can see in the conclusion, st conclusion symbol, both greater and equal to symbol is given. But in statement, only greater symbol is given. So it is not possible to travel in this symbol. And finally, you can travel in equal to symbol also. But at least once in the statement, you should be given with greater than or equal to symbol. Only then it is possible to travel in equal to symbol. Okay. Next important point is greater symbol. Okay. Assume in conclusion you will be given with greater symbol and in statement you will be given with greater than or equal to and greater symbol and equal to symbol. Okay. In this case we can travel into this symbol okay. in the, and also we can travel in this symbol. We can also travel in this symbol provided at least one of these symbol is present in the statement. Only then it is possible to travel in the equal to symbol. The final point is equal to. Okay. Now we will be provided with in the statement greater than or equal to symbol, greater symbol and equal to symbol. In this case, we can we cannot travel in this symbol, we cannot travel in this symbol also, we can only travel in this symbol when equal to symbol is given in the conclusion. I hope you understood these points. Based on these points only, we will apply the technique and solve the problems. Friends, now let's take first question from inequalities. This is the given statement and these both are co conclusions. Okay. So in first conclusion they are saying we need to move from C to B. Because the gate is open at C, we need to move from C to B. And in statement C is here and B is here, we need to move from C to B. Okay. We will see whether we can move or no. From C to E it is not possible because the gate is closed. Okay. In that case we cannot move from C to B also. Because we are not, we are unable to move from C to E, so we cannot move from C to B also. So this conclusion fails. Okay. Now let's take next conclusion. That is, A is less than E. In this case, we have to move from E to A because the gate is open at E. So try to always move from E to A. Okay. In statement, E is here and A is here. We we try to move from E to A. Okay. So from E to C it is possible because the gate is open at E so we can travel. From C to D it is not possible because the gate is closed. In that case we cannot move from E to A hence this conclusion also fails. So we have to select the option. Neither 1 nor 2 is correct. Okay, Friends now let us take next important question. Okay, The given statement, this is the statement and these both are conclusions. Okay, Now we shall take first conclusion. In first conclusion they have given P is greater than Q. That means we need to move from P to Q. Okay. 
where is P? P is here and Q is here. We'll see whether we can move from P to Q or no. Okay. So from P to B, yes, it is possible because the gate is open. From B to Q, yes, it is possible to reach. Okay. Because the gate is open. Yes, this conclusion is true. Okay. Let me tell you, they have given greater symbol. We have discussed already in the in the rules that is if greater symbol is given, we can travel in both. Greater than or equal to also we can travel and also we can travel in greater symbol also. So this conclusion is true. We shall take next conclusion that is Q is greater than or equal to yes. That means we, we have to travel in this direction from Q to yes because the gate is open at Q. So let's travel from Q to yes. Q is here and yes is here. Okay. From Q to T, yes it is possible. And from T to yes, yes it is possible because both the symbols have been given. Yes, this conclusion is also true. Let me tell you, if they given both symbol, that is greater than or equal to symbol, we can travel into equal to symbol, provided at least once the greater than or equal to symbol is given. Okay, only in that case we can travel. So equal to symbol is given and once greater than or equal to symbol also given. So this conclusion is also true. Okay, in that case we will mark both 1 and 2 are correct. Friends, now let's take next important question. Okay, the statement is given and two conclusions are given. Okay, friends, in this they have given two statements. Okay, in previous examples they have given only one statement. In this statement one and statement two. Okay, let's take the question. In conclusion they have given B is greater than X. That is, we need to move from B to X because the gate is open at B. So let's move from B to X. So where is B? B is here and X is here. Okay, that means we need to travel from B to X. Let's see whether we can move or no. Okay, from B to S, it is possible the gate is open. From S to T, yes, it is possible the gate is open. From T to V, yes, the gate is open, we can travel. From V to X, yes, again the gate is open, that means we can move from B to X. The, so the conclusion one is true. Okay, let's take next conclusion, that is W is less than B. In this case, we all we always try to move from B to W because the gate is open at B. So try to move in this direction. So where is W? W is here. Okay. And where is B? B is here. Okay. We shall move from B to W. Okay. So let's see whether we can move or no. From B to S, it is possible. The gate is open. From S to T, again the gate is open. Yes, we can move. So till T we have traveled. And from T, we shall take, okay. Till T, we already have traveled, so we have arrived at T. Let's take from T to V. So from T to V, it is not possible because the gate is closed, okay. In that case, we cannot travel from B to W. So this conclusion fails, okay. I hope you understood this, okay. So in this case, only one uh, first conclusion is correct. So only take first conclusion. Friends, now let's move to next important question, okay. In question, they have given three statements. Statement 1 and statement 2, statement 3. In previous example, they have given with only two statements. But in this question, statement 1, statement 2, statement 3. Okay. Let's take the conclusion 1. In conclusion 1, the gate is open at yes. So, we have to travel from yes to x. And also note this point, they have given both the symbols. That is greater than or equal to symbol. Okay. So, yes is here and x is here. That means we need to travel from S to X. Let's see if we can move or no. From S to Z, yet, yes it is possible because the gate is open and both the symbols is there. That is greater than or equal to greater symbol also is there and equal to symbol also is there. So that means we can travel from S to Z. From Z to Y, it is not possible. The, the gate is open, open. Of course the gate is open but equal to symbol is missing. Okay. In that case, we cannot travel from Z to Y. Okay. So in that case, this conclusion fails. So we cannot uh, reach till x. So conclusion 1 fails. Let's take second conclusion. Okay. The gate is open at w. So we shall travel from w to y. Okay. So where is w? w is here. And uh, yes, y is here. Okay. Let's travel from w to y. Okay. From w to z, yes it is possible the gate is open. From we have traveled till z. So z is here. From Z to Y, yes, we can travel. The gate is open. Okay. So, conclusion 2 is true. Okay. Let's mark this. Conclusion 2 is correct. Okay. Friends, now let's move to last important question of this session. Okay. So, the statement is given. In this question also, two statements are given. Okay. And two conclusions are given. 
and in first conclusion they are saying to travel from M to E. Okay, so because the gate is open at M, let's travel from M to E. Okay, so where is M? M is here, and where is E? E is here. Okay, so we have to travel from M to E. Okay, we'll check whether we can move or not. So from M to C, yes, we can move because the gate is open. Okay, so from C to D, yes, the gate is open. Yes, we can travel. From D to Y, yes, the gate is open. We can travel. From Y to E, yes, again it is possible because the again gate is open. So yes, the conclusion one is correct. Okay, let's take second conclusion. That is, we need to move from Y to M because the gate is open at Y. Let's travel to let's travel from Y to M. So where is Y? Y is here and M is here. That means we need to travel from Y to M. Okay, we'll check whether we can move or not. From Y to D, the gate is closed. Okay. So at first only the gate is closed, so it is not possible to travel from Y to M. So this conclusion fails because the gate is closed here. Okay, so that means we cannot travel. So yes, the conclusion two fails, and only one conclusion, first conclusion is correct. Let's mark it. Friends, I want to note one important point. Okay, if they given one statement, two statement, three statements in the question, don't try to rewrite the statements again and try to reconnect them. Okay, don't do like that. It's a waste of time. what you have to do while solving in exam on the screen itself you try to connect it by mentally okay that really saves your time friends till now i have completed model 1 type questions model 2 model 3 and model 4 i'll update soon okay to get notification stay tuned with my channel if you have not subscribed my channel do subscribe my channel and if you like this video do click like button i am santosh signing off from online studies have a nice time take care